Um, I'm going to start with um, the new season of Chicago Med. Um, you know, we're in the seventh season now. What are you most excited um, to explore this season? Well, you know, we're in a hospital, so there's always going to be some kind of condition that we're not going to know about. And uh, the doctors will, you know, do their best to figure out what's going on with each individual patient. So that's always interesting to find uh, what uh, malady is coming into the hospital. Um, I think some of the storylines are really uh, going to be great. Like when we ended last season, uh, Goodwin had fired will she's going to bring him back but under certain conditions um, and uh, so it's going to be exciting to see what transpires with that um, there's a, a, a crazy story with dr. Archer and dr. Charles played by um, Stephen Weber and and Oliver Platt about twins uh, so there are some really interesting uh, stories that are coming up. Of course, you know, inside the hospital, what's going on, we'll find out a little bit more about Dr. Vanessa Taylor and, and Maggie's relationship. So there's lots of good things coming up this season. Ethan Choi is still recuperating. And so hopefully it, it, and his surgery went well. Hopefully he'll be back in, in the ED. So there are a lot of things going on um, this season. Yes, that's great. And I can't wait to see all of it you know, unfold. <laughs> Um, your character, um, as you were talking about Sharon Goodwin, um, playing her for seven seasons now about what are your favorite, you know, aspects of her to portray? Well, you know, I always like these women who are in control, uh, and, and who are fair, uh, but who are not to be, uh, played with. <laughs> I, I like those kinds of women. Uh, and, and that's who Sharon Goodwin is. Uh, she's a, an intelligent woman. She, she, she understands how to run a hospital. Uh, she was a nurse, so she has a, a background in the ED. Um, so I like her. Uh, you know, I think um, uh, last year she had a, a lot of uh, little uh, things to, uh, to jump over. Um, the word won't come to me. Obstacles. Uh, and and I think she came through them with flying colors. Uh, and, you know, I just look forward to seeing her continue to run the hospital regardless of the obstacles that confront her. Well, that's very exciting to hear. I know every actor and actress has their own you know, process when they take on a role or they've been playing a role for a long time. Um, do you have any particular things that you do to prepare to play such a strong woman, such as Sharon Gould? And do you take any, you know, pieces of her home with you? Do you take any inspiration from her? Well, I don't know if I take anything home with me unless, you know, it's something that, uh, you know, a, a split in the day of, of, of something uh, that's happening in the hospital. But, you know, it, when you start these kinds of things, you know, we all did a couple of weeks at a simulated hospital uh, here at Rush. And, uh, you know, all of us had to learn how to suture. And so those are, you know, those are the, the things that you have to, to learn. And, and because she was a nurse, I had to go in with everyone else and, and learn these things um, so that we can at least start at, at a common ground. Um, and, and then, you know, you talk to people who do this kind of work. Uh, I talked to a, a couple of, of women who run hospitals, one here in, in uh, Chicago and one in New York, and you just sort of pick their brains and I spent the day with one of them just walking around what's going on, what's happening. And then I also, our medical uh, advisor, Dr. Andy Dennis, Andrew Dennis, invited us all to come and spend time in the emergency room at Cook County. And, uh, whoa, that was an eye opener. 
<laughs> that that was an eye opener. I mean, you're in the middle of an emergency room, and I went on a Friday night. Um, it was extraordinary, but just to watch the head nurse carry on and and when they bring someone in how quickly everything happens that was an invaluable experience um so those are the kinds of things that you would do specifically for for a show that deals with medicine mm -hmm. yeah that's great it's really exciting to hear i know your your resume as an actress is quite extensive and you have various other you know roles as compared to this one how does, you know, portraying um, Ms. Sharon Goodwin in this hospital-like setting, how does that compare to other um, parts that you've had, maybe your part in Law and Order or any other of your indie films? Or things like well, they all call for a certain sort of focus, you know. So, uh, you know, the, the Goodwin and Van Buren may be very similar type of women, but they deal with totally different, they're in different worlds. So you have to deal with, whatever it is that the world that the person is living in. And then the opportunities that I get to play on stage are really quite different. Um, so, you know, and the rehearsal time is different too. So you have a, a, a little bit more time to sort of figure out who the person is. But as you play these characters uh, through the seasons, you get to learn more and more about them you know there are the basic things that you learn when when you meet them she's married she has three children she has two boys and a girl those things that that you already know she's you know she and her husband are having issues so so how she deals in the day might have something to do with those things that are happening at home that you know she can't deal with while she's at work because there's so so there are all kinds of ways that you contain and, and hold the, the character as you walk through the season. And and you're really the person who holds on to it. You know, the writers, you get a different writer for every episode. You know, there might be something that you did very early that that they didn't know or that they didn't put in the script and you, you can go, oh, but, you know, wait a minute, season two, if there was such and such. And so let's add that into this. So you sort of hold on to those things that your character is actually living through. Yes, that's great. Um, I like to ask this particular question because um, I'm curious of, a, of an actress or, or actor's opinion, but having filmed, you know, now you're done with the seventh season of Chicago Med, and of course this isn't going to be the last, I expect, you know, many more seasons. Um, where do you think the trajectory of, um, Ms. Sharon's given story is leading her? Well, you know, everything really is about the hospital first. Mm -hmm. um, the, the personal issues, I think we're at a bit of a standstill with her right now. Uh, you know, last season we had a, a nice little roundup with, with her husband uh, and, her, and her son came in. We got a chance to see that. And, and I think that um, we'll, we'll see how personal, her personal life comes into it. But, but she, her main concern is always what's going on in the hospital. And, and it's reflective of what's happening, you know, in the world as well. So whenever something is going on, you know, we dealt with COVID. We, we've dealt with so many issues um, that happen in the real world. Um, when, whatever goes through that hospital, always know that Sharon Goodwin is going to be involved in it in some form or another, you know. <laughs> so it depends on these storylines that are, you know, we have this incredible group of writers uh, will, we'll, you know, find for this hospital. And, and those are the points, those are the times when uh, Sharon Goodwin will will have uh, something to say. No, that's that's wonderful to hear. And a character such as her, you know, I greatly, you know, I enjoy watching her going through her inner workings and then in the hospital as a whole. So I'm really excited to see what um, what you have coming up soon. Yeah, September 22nd <laughs> is when we premiere uh, seven Central, eight 
Eastern, and I can't wait for everyone to see, I'm, again, all three shows. It's, as we always say, one night, one family, one Chicago. So yes. um, I'm looking forward to um, what the other shows have to offer as well.